As the governor of the Central Bank, I have an obligation to speak to you when there is a serious event occurring in the financial sector. Today, 12th April, the Prime Minister, as the Minister of Finance, on the recommendation of the Central Bank of Belize, revoked the unrestricted A-class international banking license of Atlantic International Bank. This revocation is in accordance with sections 25 and 27.1 of the International Banking Act, Chapter 267, Revised Edition 2011 of the Substantive Laws of Belize. On 8th November 2018, the United States Federal Trade Commission named the Atlantic International Bank as a defendant in a case involving alleged fraud related to certain transactions for the sale of land in a property development known as Sanctuary Belize. The Federal Trade Commission then sought and obtained in those proceedings a temporary restraining order against certain of the bank's liquid assets in the United States. Atlantic International Bank has experienced challenges meeting its liquidity requirements due, it appears, to the reputational damage caused by being named in the said proceedings. Atlantic International Bank experienced an unusual an increasing level of withdrawal requests. This led to customers facing extended delays in accessing their funds, which in turn led to a worsening of the bank's liquidity position. In response to the said challenges, the central bank placed Atlantic International Bank under enhanced supervision on 13 November 2018 and subsequently issued two sets of remedial actions aimed at preserving the bank's capital. The central bank closely monitored the execution of these actions through increased reporting requirements and continuous dialogue. A series of actions unfolded in the week of 25th March. The board of directors of Atlantic International Bank informed the central bank of a worsening liquidity position and the resignation of its chief executive officer, Mr. Ricardo Pelayo. Further, the bank through its board of directors expressed the view that central bank's intervention was required. To safeguard the interests of depositors, customers and other stakeholders, the central bank immediately escalated its oversight regime and undertook a special on-site examination to assess Atlantic International Bank's financial position. The assessment revealed that Atlantic International Bank's liquidity position continued to worsen. The central bank has activated its internal resolution plan and continues to work diligently towards the timely winding up of Atlantic International Bank in accordance with the statutes provided under Part 11 of the Domestic Banks and Financial Institutions Act. The central bank has appointed a liquidator, Mr. Julian Murillo. He will have full power and authority over the operations of Atlantic International Bank as prescribed under the laws of Belize. After the liquidation of the bank's assets, Mr. Maria will move to distribute these assets in a fair and equitable manner in accordance with the legal priorities. This is the second bank in the international banking sector to have its license revoked in the last 10 months. I want to be clear that the circumstances leading to the revocation of the international banking licenses of these two banks are different and cannot be attributed to any issues of general application to the nation's financial sector. In both cases, albeit for different reasons, the situations were made untenable due to actions that originated outside of Belize. We wish to assure the public that the winding up of this bank does not involve 
or affect the safety and soundness of any other international bank or domestic bank operating in Belize. In closing, I want to assure you that the central bank has a mandate to protect depositors and we are taking steps to do so. Effective immediately, Atlantic International Bank and all its branches have ceased to conduct business. The central bank continues to be extremely vigilant in its oversight responsibilities to ensure that our financial sector remains vibrant. Going forward, additional information will be posted on the websites for both Atlantic International Bank and the Central Bank. Thank you for your kind attention.